Okay guys, so now that we have the idea of the post that this component or this that this like component is trying to render for, we are going to find that particular post and save it on this component so that because remember, if we go to our slash feed route right here, we discover that the post actually carries all the information that we need. So right here, for example, for post five, we have the user who created that post, we have the likes for that post, in this case, two likes, and then we have the user data. Okay, so in our like, dot view component we are receiving the id of the current post in the loop and as soon as we receive that we want to find that post from our store and as soon as we find that post we'll be able to use the data from that post to be able to display the users who like that post and all that okay so first of all let's get that post okay so we can find this post by the id and what we're gonna use is a computed property and computed properties are actually recommended so that in case we unlike the user or remove the user from that array it is auto automatically recalculated and rendered and the page is rendered again okay so right here we're gonna have a post and this method is gonna return the particular post from our store right here with the ID of ID so we're just gonna say this dot store dot stage and for various reasons we can't actually use getters to be able to get the post with ID of ID so we are just gonna access the store directly since we don't need to actually change any data we we wouldn't we wouldn't really be needing getters so we'll say this dot store dot state dot post okay so we'll find the particular post and how does this method work this method is gonna take in the current post in the loop so it's like this method is gonna loop through this post array and the, as soon as it's looping through this post array we're gonna receive a particular post and right here we'll have a callback and in this callback we'll just return a post where the post dot id is equal to this dot id and what is happening is this fine method is looping through the post array and uh, it's receiving each of those posts so it will check is the current post in the loop id equal to this dot id if it is then it's simply going to return that post else it's going to return undefined okay so it's going to check and if it doesn't find that post it's going to return undefined okay so right now our post property our post computed property right here is equal to the post in the store where the id is our id right here with the prop that we passed in Okay, so this is simply a JavaScript defined method for to use an arrays to be able to find particular elements in an array. Okay, so right now we're able to have the post and let's go ahead and check in our browser to see if we actually have the post from our store. But first let's run go. So I'll run go watch. Okay, seems to be working well. So I'll refresh. Okay, so I'll inspect. And uh, right here in my view component, if I check out my store, I have my post. And I'll check out the component in my feed and I have my likes and uh, right here I think the fifth it says undefined uh, so something I didn't do okay so right here I'm supposed to actually return the value that this dot find method returns to us okay so let me save that and hopefully it should work this time around okay so that was refreshed and right here we have our post okay so in the feed we have a like that is generated for each post and for this post for this like right here the first one it's for the post with id of one and so on okay so right here we have a like with the post that has many likes right here the fifth post okay so that looks like it's rendering well the next step is actually displaying the avatars of the people who love the post okay so right here we're gonna display their avatars who have liked of the people who have liked that post okay so right here looks like we need to loop through all the likes because remember for example if we look at our fifth post we have a likes array and this likes array contains the user objects look at right here we have the user objects of the people who actually liked this post okay so we're gonna loop through that array v4 like in the post which is our computer property dot likes okay so we're gonna loop through that and right here we're gonna have an image and we're gonna bind the source of this image to the like the current like in the loop dot the user dot the avatar and uh, we'll just go ahead and give that a width 40 pixels and a height 
of 40 pixels also and i'll just go ahead and give it a class of avatar like so right here let me just define the script tags the style tags and i'll say that avatar like and i'll say border radius 50 percent okay so let's go ahead and check this out in the browser to see if it works hopefully it should I'll go ahead and refresh right there and uh, right down here at the bottom we see we have the avatars of the users who have liked this post okay so what's going on here first of all let's go to our like this like right here we are having a computer property that is getting the particular post for which we are displaying the likes and that this completed property is simply looping through all the posts in our store and it's finding the post where the id is equals to the prop of the id that is passed into this component and once it gets that post it's gonna save it as a computed property so in that computed property post we have a list of likes okay and that like contains the user who actually liked that post okay so right here we are looping through the likes right here and we are displaying the avatar of the user who liked the post by assessing the user avatar right here okay so that looks like it's working and the next thing we have to do is actually determine what button we are supposed to display whether it's the like or the unlike button 